Jesus did not preach the gospel of being born again. Okay, I want you to hear me. Jesus did not preach the gospel of resurrection. I want you, you read the gospels. The church has told you that. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. Which means then, Jesus came preaching, teaching, and demonstrating the kingdom. How could he preach the gospel of the kingdom if the gospel of the kingdom was resurrection and he was still alive? So then, he, what are you saying? And then, how could he preach the message of the gospel of the resurrection when he told people to tell no one he was the Messiah? And I want you to step back from your tradition a minute and just think. Just think. So he went about teaching and preaching and demonstrating the gospel of the kingdom. Gospel is the Greek term euangelion. Euangelion, you means well. Angelon from angelos means news or message. So he went and preached the good news of the Basileon, of the kingdom. So now, what do you mean the good news of the kingdom? So Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom, which meant there is a new king in town. There is good news. The king that had dominated you, the king that had defeated you, the king that oppressed you, is not only now the only king in town. Now, now I want you to hear. So he's saying there is a good news of the kingdom, which means the good news is God is ready to rule and reign in this realm. So now, he came preaching, which is proclamation. Proclamation of certainties, which means William Barclay said, in preaching, Christ came to defeat man's ignorance. Because he came to preach the certainties of the kingdom, which means he came to teach what God was like. Thus, he came to take all the guessing out of what God is like. So those of you that are still guessing, and I believe, and like, well, I believe, or I feel, see, you missed the good news of the kingdom. Jesus came so that you wouldn't have to feel no more. Okay, are you hearing me? But the church has us, that wayward church, has us feeling it's okay to be a fool. And there will be no consequences. So, he came not only preaching the good news of the kingdom, he came teaching, which is explanation. So while preaching the un uncompromising certainties of the kingdom, he then in teaching, the difference is, is teaching is the explanation of the meaning and the significance of these certainties. So in preaching, you say, this is the truth. This is how it is. Then in teaching, you explain why it is, what's, what's significant and important about it. So you can't, so teaching has to explain preaching. So when you say he's a preacher and not a teacher, that's not what Jesus was. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you preach, though, you preach truth, and it doesn't have to be as descriptive or explanatory as teaching. But the Bible says that Jesus didn't just preach at you. It says he came preaching and teaching. But now, William Barclay says that then in teaching, Christ came to defeat man's misunderstanding. So in preaching, he came to defeat his ignorance. In teaching, he came to defeat 
his misunderstanding because remember now there is a new king in town so he's coming to take dominion take dominion of your ignorance take dominion of your misunderstanding remember paul says brother i uh you know uh i would not uh, uh that you be ignorant he doesn't the scripture talks about ignorance is not acceptable Remember in Acts it says that there was a time when God would wink or blink at ignorance but now it's calling every man unto repentance which meant that once Jesus came there is no more excuses for ignorance. He defeated ignorance. So if you are ignorant of what God requires then that's because you chose to be. 